Okay, so we are going to be building one of these guys, a Dark Elder Hellion. Um, we're just going to start off by cutting out the skyboard um, with just a top piece, and any bottom piece will fit with it. So I'm just going to do these two right here. Uh, that looks like number 62 and one of the 64s. Um, so go ahead and cut those out. Okay, so um, I've got these two pieces cut out. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put some glue on them. Um, in case you're wondering, I use Zappa Gap. Um, they make super thin too, which is the pink label one, but that's like ridiculously super thin. Um, it just pours all over everything, but um, the Zappa Gap is pretty much the best glue ever. So that's what I always use when I can actually find it. Um, I had to get this from a little the train shop, but um, you just put a little glue around here. It really doesn't need much because it fits together really well. And uh, this, like half of these, have the blades going forward, and the other half have them facing backwards. But uh, these two pieces back here are on the back, and the rails in the front, and the guns on this point forward. So pretty much just fits on just like that, which is pretty good. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and cut out. One of these little engine pieces, which will go on the back, and uh, we'll go ahead and cut out one of the sets of lags. Um, so I'll probably cut out the uh, just uh, maybe this set right here, at the top. So um, six and eight. Okay. Um, so we've got this little engine piece here, kind of one of the many things that make the new Dark Eldar look more like the actual Eldar. And uh, it goes on the back here, just put some glue in these four little recesses here. And uh, just kind of fits right on there. Kind of like some cogs. So that's how that goes on, um, and it leaves this cool little line in the middle. There's a line, kind of line mark like that, like on the Eldar vehicles all over it. Um, if you really want to do a good job painting this, this is where I would stop and paint this piece because there are some pieces you definitely cannot get to after um, they're all put together. And uh, right there as it is, you can just put the stem in the base there, and this fits right into it which is pretty cool, so you can even just run them like these, which would be, I'm sure you could convert that for something else, but they move all around on it and everything. Um, so the next step, we've got these two pieces of legs. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these together. Um, four of the legs are in two halves like this, and one set is all together. Um, all these ones that come in two halves are kind of like crouching, bending legs. So we'll go ahead and wait for that to dry, and we're going to go ahead and cut out two halves of the torso, one of the small parts and one of the larger parts, and I uh, guess we'll go ahead and cut out a head as well. Okay. Okay, so we've got the two halves of the body. These are pretty easy to put together, just like any other thing like this, like Guardians or whatever. Put together really simple. Just like glues on just like that. And let's we'll go ahead and glue the head on. I usually wait till it's on the, the legs to glue the head on, but it doesn't really matter. Let's have him kind of looking to the right to the left rather and um, one thing to keep in mind are uh, is that um, really with any models um, not just the Hellions but um, they pretty much all kind of crouch forward a little bit so when they're sitting on a table and you're standing up above it you can't really see their heads so I always lean their heads back a little bit and it seems kind of unnatural looking until you actually put them on the model and uh, okay so the legs are ready 
Uh, one thing I didn't notice until I put a few of them together with my first batch of them, uh, this little hook here connects onto this rail on the front, which is pretty cool because that's how they like actually stay on when they're flying around like crazy green goblins. Um, so you're going to want to put some glue on the feet. Okay. And then the hook will actually grab on to the rail. And then from there, while it's still on the rail, you can put the feet on. That way you know it'll be lined up right. Oops. And that stays on pretty good, so. There you go. And I'll just go ahead and glue the body in. This glue dries pretty, pretty quick. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and cut out one of the sets of arms. It comes with plenty of them. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut out uh, one of these here. And um, one of the little arm pieces that goes with it for the other arm. Okay, gluing this last part on here can be very difficult. Um, but fortunately they've managed to simplify it as long as you do it the right way. I don't remember if they tell you to do it this way or not, but um, if you can see in here, there is a little line going in it. And there is a little line on this piece here too, the other arm. So instead of trying to match this all up, because it will never happen, you'll never get this right without that. So um, we're just gonna glue that piece together before we put this whole piece on the actual model. This is one of the things I like about the Zappa Gap too, that it comes with this. So you can squeeze the glue out and if you get too much on there, you can just let go and it'll suck some of the glue back in. Okay. Okay. I think that's on just about right. It's hard to do on camera. My eyes are absolutely horrible. Okay, so that's all on like that, and we'll go ahead and put glue on his uh, torso up here. Okay, then we can just kind of slide this on. Sometimes you gotta go put it behind it and then pull it forward, but um, trust me, this is a million times easier than trying to do it. Put one arm on and then glue the other arm on and getting it to line up. This way you can kind of pose it too before it dries. And uh, if I can get the stop sticking to my fingers. Okay, once you get it on there how you like, just take a look from the sides and make sure that it's uh, 
on there pretty good and it's not sticking way off to one side. And we're going to go ahead and cut out basically the last piece that you should really put on. Um, just one of these shoulder guards here, it doesn't really matter which one. They give you uh, one extra of them anyway. So you kind of get to choose, just like with the head, you don't have to pick some stupid one if you don't like it. And that goes right on top of this right here. This is the uh, left arm. Okay, so there is basically the finished model. There are some extra little detail pieces you can put on, but I think it just makes the model too crowded, so I don't do it. Um, but they are basically uh, these pieces here. It's like little knives and stuff to go on their hip. Um, and there are these skulls and that, those flying things on chains. Those I think look pretty good, so I put some of them on. But um, that's pretty much it. Um, how to build a hellion.